history must restore what slavery took away. Now, am I wrong? You see, if this book were a representation of black history, it would be filled with infinite pages of countless narratives of people who fought to make a difference within this world. Now, as a child, in the books I read, I could see that black people had no history, no heroes, no great moments. And I wasn't surprised. For hundreds of years, society had deemed people of African descent non-worthy of any of their praise or contributions they brought into this world. That's why I left Puerto Rico, saw a brighter education to change the world. That's why I left New York and found a greater purpose to my life. The Black Freedom Movement now somebody needed to tell that story. You see, I dedicated my entire life researching and archiving artifacts that would prove something to anybody. I became head member of social societies such as the ANA and NHRS. Through that, I saw a need to educate our world, a need to prove our ancestors' rightful place in history and a need to African American Library. Nobody had ever heard of that. Free for open to anybody, no matter their color, no matter their race, I don't care. It's open for anybody. Now there, I made a difference. I saw change in people's lives. And that would later become part of the NYU system of education and libraries. And you know what? Let's rename that for me too. Who knew? Who am I? I'm Arturo Schomburg, a voice of the voiceless. Be bold like me.